In today's episode, we're going to talk you through the general car wash. Now there's a few different styles of washing a car and we're just going to talk you through the general maintenance wash in this video. Whenever you're going to wash your car, you always want to start with the wheels. It's a bit of a controversial point because some people do start with the bodywork and then work onto the wheels, but we're under the belief that if you start with the wheels, you're going to get the dirtiest area dealt with first and it avoids you splashing any dirty water from the wheels up the clean bodywork. With the wheels, you'll always start on the face and work your way to the back to try and remove as much grime as possible. Fully covering the wheel to start with, with a wheel cleaner if they're in a grubby state like this, jet washing off and then working on with a brush into all of the detail. We also advise the use of wheel woolies or extendable brushes to get into the barrel and the backs of the wheels. It's good practice to keep on top of your wheels, making sure you get behind spokes into lug nuts and also cleaning the calipers at the same point. The next stage of the wash is to attack the grubbier areas of the bodywork before any contact wash. We advise the use of a pre-cleaner such as Citrus Power for the front end and lower quarters where the car's at its grubbiest. You can also use this in wheel arches, along windscreens, front edges of wing mirrors and also right up the back of the vehicle if it's a wagon like this one they tend to get quite dirty in those areas. The next stage is probably the most fun stage for everybody, snow foam. Now we always advise the use of a snow foam because the snow foam will dwell on the vehicle, breaking down as much dirt as possible before contact washing. It's important that you remove and break down as much road grime as possible before you actually come into contact with the vehicle. This will minimize swirls, marring, and other defects caused at the wash stage. Working from the top of the vehicle down, fully cover the vehicle in snow foam, and then leave for as long as possible to dwell without drying. It's important that you don't let snow foam dry on the vehicle. Most paint defects, swirl marks, scratches, and other fine marring that will rob your vehicle of its gloss are actually caused at the washing stage. So it's key to get this right. Now, rinsing from top of vehicle down, rinse all of the snow foam off. Thoroughly working arches, lower areas and under sills to remove all of the loose road grime you can. Because if you don't, there's a possibility you'll pick this up later on and rub it across the paintwork. This now brings us to our contact wash. Using two buckets, one filled with fresh water and one with your wash solution, dip your mitt from the wash solution onto the vehicle. Start on the upper panels, roof, bonnet, and cleaner areas of the vehicle first. Working in straight lines with the lines of the bodywork, no pressure is to be applied at this point. Work your way down to the lower areas. We have a second mitt that we use purely for areas below the sort of swage or midway line on doors for the grubbier areas. This is so that when we come to wash the vehicle again, we have one perfectly clean mitt for the uppers, and if the lower mitt has picked up any contamination, it isn't used on the upper panels again. Once you've completed a section of the vehicle, go back to the fresh water bucket, dip and rinse the dirty water from the wash mitt, then go again into your wash solution, taking fresh soap back to the vehicle. You can never do this too much. Once you're confident you've cleaned the entire vehicle, from paintwork to glass, ensuring to get under windscreen wipers, into inner arches, under wing mirrors, in door handles, and all the nooks and crannies possible, it's time to rinse the soap from the vehicle. Using your pressure washer or a garden hose, work from the top of the vehicle down, thoroughly rinsing out grills, gaps, and other panel areas that might hold soap later on. This now brings us to our drying stage. Some people like to use what's known as a drying aid. We advise the use of our Finale Quick Detailer for something like this. Just lightly mist across the paintwork while still wet, then go straight on with your drying towel, pat dry or drag dry as appropriate to you. And there you have it, a clean car. 